a very exciting day ahead of us. We are going to an ultrasound and hopefully get meds on and finally found, find out our exact due date. I'm guessing we'll do in March. So first appointment, they couldn't give us a due date, so they gave us a tiny ultrasound that to make sure everything looks okay with the baby. The baby really wiggly, <laughs> so cute. But at the first appointment, they cannot give us a full due date because they didn't have a sonograph for it. In that day, I do plan to document and share more of my pregnancy journey that time around. My fourth pregnancy with Jesse, I wasn't giving a much detail updates when I endured my second trimester and so many actually began questioning why I wasn't giving you guys some detail or updating more in it maybe because when I ended my second trimester, I was filming for a reality show and there was something scene they told me I could share and some things not to share and be more quiet about with Sina. They do that because they don't want a business point on from the audience watching the show. So yeah, that time around, I can share everything I want to share and show you guys a bit more about what's going on. So I'm not waiting till after the both to see what was going on while I read Planet, but I am very grateful we had the opportunity to do that show because when I was first invited to audition for nine months with Courtney Cox, they found me through Instagram <laughs> after I put my pregnancy announcement I thought, okay, I'll audition and not see what happens. And I want to do this as an opportunity to further educate more people about disabilities, including being pregnant with a disability to our audience that doesn't already follow me on social media. And when I did that show, I was able to educate more people and I'm very grateful for that. And I had a lot of people like into me, telling me how my story on my with Courtney Cox has helped them in many different ways. And for that, I am grateful I had the opportunity to do something like that. And it was quite the experience. And I met some really cool people through the filming as well. Only on in the pregnancy too, that like when I was pregnant with Jesse, I began a pregnancy hibiscus and pelvis issues. Only months in of the pregnancy, I cannot lay comfortably on my back at home and 
walking sometimes haunts um sending fourteen months sometimes haunt when I was pregnant with Jesse I ended up with a trip I ended up with a twisting pelvis and that would be because of the way someone palsy made me move while my body was also changing for the pregnancy and of course putting more weight onto a similar palsy body doesn't help that much either so my balance is slowly getting worse that like before I'm getting a lot more tighter than I used to get but the good news that time around I already have my walker ready to use when I get to the point I need it and I also begin physical therapy again next Wednesday. So at least that time around we kind of know what to expect when it comes to my disability and pregnancy being combined together. As for normal pregnancy systems, I'm actually doing pretty well. Um, of course, I get tired, on, but I had to keep moving because I'm a to get her mommy to a toddler that keep me busy on the way up until that time and then keep me busy after that time too. Um, but I try to relax and rest a bit more when he is taking his naps. I didn't as some moments of analysis, but I never actually showed up. But the moments I'm really so when, so it's not, it not that big of a deal for me. Like I said, the biggest issue what I am having right now it went my hips and pelvis. And then we are seeing what pregnancy and my disability, I am noticing my ataxia is acting up a bit more. I'm joking a bit more and I'm shaking a bit more and having a harder time controlling my hand movements more than usual. And for my end that is something new in that pregnancy that I didn't have to deal with for worrying about in my last pregnancy. Only on, I mean, I was beginning to as pregnancy some cramping and pain and that kind of warned me because I'm very pregnant but still having a lot of pain it went that kind of scary um, because in some cases with a dizzy like that you aren't at a higher rate some mercurial so that's why I went in until I saw a doctor to announce the pregnancy because I don't want him to make so everything look good and it did and seeing my wiggly little baby on that Queen gave me a lot of relief 
knowing that we seen it going fine and we have a good healthy little baby on the way. I will continue to update you guys as best as I can about how the pregnancy is going. Let go see the baby. One more time Sometimes you have to prove it to yourself when it not a film inside but he not some feathers the baby was sucking it fun today but we really cute to see he went and sinking the baby baby was long boy what? on the head and he's on the baby's head yeah what when was the that? baby doing? Wobbling. Wobbling. <laughs> it was wiggling, huh? Oh, if only you could see. I can see your beautiful. 